name is Tatlun Penry. I'm a solitary pagan witch. I'm an author and the founder of the Wolf and Howl Press. People sometimes wonder how you pronounce my name. It's Tatlun. Um, it, it's a natural sound to me because I live in Wales and the double L, everyone else says it as a L sound, so it's Tillian or Tilluan. Um, but in Wales it's a K sound and it's, it's quite different. But don't worry about that. Call me Mrs Penry. Mrs P. That'll do. I'll answer to it. Anyway, tonight I'd like to talk to you about entering the crone stage in our lives. You know, we're often told there are three, uh, three phases, maiden, mother and crone. And um, the crone phase, I mean, obviously I'm in that phase now. But I think modern life often fears it. It fears growing old, it fears the signs of ageing, you know, all the saggy bits, all the wrinkles on my chin and all the bits nobody wants to own up to. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, entering the crone phase is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. It brings with it a great freedom. I think this is something people often don't realise. When they're, when they're struggling, when they're trying with their Botox and their plastic surgery and their facelifts and things like that, when they're trying with all these things, um, they're missing the point. The crone phase is not what we look like. It's up here, in the mind, in the heart. It's, it's something that we are. We grow. It's experience, if you like. There's a good old-fashioned word for it. It's experience. And you know what they say. Experience is what you get when you're looking for something else. <laughs> it's a thought. Um... But when we're starting out, when we're young, and I don't mean starting on a spiritual path, I mean when we are young now, we have an awful lot to learn. I don't envy young people. I mean, I think that's another sign of the crone phase, that you don't actually envy young people. I don't want to be young again. I don't particularly like being young. I'm much happier now. I seem to have found my level. I've sort of sunk into it and all the saggy bits have sunk down with me but it doesn't matter um, I think one of the wonderful things is realising things you know things you still want to find out realising the things that don't matter in our lives you know um, there's that old saying you know if, if, uh, if it's not right then it's not the end and I think you, you begin to realise that in the crone phase. You know, if something isn't right, we have to deal with it. We have to try and put it right. We have to fight the things that matter. We have to fight for young people. I mean, you know, I often hear people say, oh, youngsters today, you know. They were saying it when I was young. For heaven. Oh, that's Noah. He just hit the radiator. They were saying it when I was young, all those years ago. You know, oh, young people today. And they were probably saying it when my grandfather was young. Um, I actually think most young people are lovely. Most middle-aged people are lovely. Most old people are lovely. You always get a few bad apples, but that doesn't spoil the whole thing. And, um, you know, we have a responsibility. Once we've grown older in the craft, our responsibility is to try to... Not so much to teach, because it sounds a bit bit pretentious, doesn't it, you know? I've known people who say, I'm a teacher. <laughs> oh, that turns me right off. I don't want to know. I still don't. I still have that very rebellious streak in me. And uh, I've always been a bit of a rebel. I can't change that, you know. If there's a barricade, I'll go and find it. Um, and one day Mr. Penry said to me, you know, he said, you're not a, a rebel at all. What, I'm not a rebel? And he said, no, you just hate injustice. And yes, that's part of the crone stage too. I don't like injustice. I don't like people who say one thing but do another. You know, I can't stand people who will turn around and say, oh, you must harm none in the path. You, you mustn't harm it. I would never harm anyone. And you're walking behind them and they let the door slam on you. And yes, I've seen that sort of thing. I think, no, that's not what it's about. What it's about as we grow older is putting into practice the things we've learned, is sharing. Sharing is terribly important on the path, you know. It's not a state bloody secret. 
It's not. If we start turning around and saying, oh, I mustn't tell you this, I mustn't tell you that. I put an awful lot of information out there, which is absolutely free. I have a website, which is, the, you just Google Wolf and Howell Press and you'll find it. I'll put the link at the bottom of this video. Um, but if you go to that, you will find uh, some of these videos are there, but they're all on YouTube. And I never put adverts up. And the reason I don't put adverts is because if you've come to hear a little chat, you don't want two minutes of listening to why you should shampoo your hair in whatever. You know, I don't believe in it. And there's also uh, there's also two blogs on that website. The one is the current one. The other one is my old one, which I used to have on another site, which is now closing. So there's 800 posts on that. You know, it's a staggering amount of information. Uh, if you you know, if you find yourself at a loss one weekend, you can go and have a look at it, you know. But the whole idea is that we share. And we should. You know, each of us, no matter where we are in our path, I mean, all right, I write books, I have particular interests. But everyone has their field of expertise. You know, you will find people who will make the most wonderful potions, they will make soaps. It might be a hobby. It might be something they just enjoy doing. But... That's your field of expertise. It might be, you know, one piece of information, one little nugget. Well, share it. Don't hide it. Don't, don't pretend you've got to keep it a state secret, because it isn't. Once we're gone, we're gone, and that little bit of information is lost. I mean, all right, we might cross over, you might believe, as I do in reincarnation, but it doesn't mean you're going to find that precise piece of information again. It was one of the reasons I started writing books, was to share with people before it's lost. So, you know, in the crone phase, this is the start of it. Learn to share. Don't be afraid to share. Share your information. There are people out there who will be glad of it. Okay? They mightn't be your family. They mightn't be your grandchildren. Uh, but somebody somewhere will want to know. Somebody somewhere will be glad. And thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.